Hey, welcome to Uzulu Channel today. Today is July 18th, 2019. It's hot today. We're in the 90s today. We're gonna, gonna wash my car in the sun. Why not? And today we're gonna be using this product right here. And it's mega foam. We're gonna be using it in a foam cannon. Now the foam cannon that we're gonna be using is the one from um, Amazon you can get for like $19. We're gonna see how this stuff foams up with a cheaper uh, foaming cannon. And we're gonna be using our gas power wash over there, a Honda 5.0. All right, we'll get set up. Basically, this is the foam can we'll be using right here. I'll have the link below if you want to check it out. Up to you. And then right here is uh, this stuff's not expensive; it's about 12 bucks. Um, it's not too bad for the price wise. So basically, on the direction, it's supposed to, it's a pH neutral soap. You guys can see that designed for your foam cannon foaming but um i've seen some other videos where the foam is really thick but that was using um the adams products foam cannon so basically you can use the two bucket method also it says basically says prepare two buckets for with your wash mitt we're going to use one make sure that's the check connection on your pressure washer make sure everything is good on the pressure washer everything is connected and ready to go so basically it says pour one to two ounces of Adams Mega Foam into your container here. So we're gonna we'll go two we'll go two ounces. And then basically says pre-rinse your vehicle. We're gonna do that and then we'll apply this and it says it to remove uh heavy dirt with the pre-wash and we'll see how uh, good it does without hand washing at first. So if you wanna go check out the car and see how dirty this work. car mainly just has a lot of uh, surface kind of dust and debris but here, yeah you can kind of see it on this side it's a lot worse so it's a pretty good test vehicle it's a good driver all right so we're gonna go two ounces we're gonna make sure we shake it up real good and this is a milliliter so about 30 milliliters will be an ounce this stuff's pretty thin. That's pretty cool. I was thinking it'd be thick, but that's good. Got a nice smell to it. What do you smell like? It smells like a. Uh, smells good. I can't pick up this. Kind of reminds me of like those like medicine that has the scent to it. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? Those cough drops. What's those red cough drops? Uh, the old the school halls, ones. I'm not for that's sure. the house. Came in a white red white box with red. Yeah, that's what it smells like. If you guys remember those old cough shops you can buy, um, they were red. Came in a white box. Man, what's the name of it? I can't remember. All right, we'll get so that about that much in up. the bottle. All right, we'll get our fire washer going. We're getting ready to get a foam can and rinse it down. Now it's been a month since we put the Meguiar's uh, HCW on there, the hybrid ceramics uh, wax. Look at that. That's holding up pretty good for a month. So if you guys watch any of those videos where I'm kind of doing a little test, see how long it's lasting. Well, it's been a month and it's holding up pretty great. Look at that. And if you guys want to actually see him applying this, uh, you can actually see that. Should be one of our latest videos. So go ahead and check that one out. We'll get ready. I'm gonna start the water blaster and then we'll get going. That's pretty good, man. I should have done another video, separate video on that stuff. So I gotta do an updated video soon in a week or so. So I'm gonna put that turtle wax on here next. I'm gonna strip it. And it, yeah, it's pretty good. You guys gotta watch that. I'm surprised. I'm pretty happy the way it's holding up. 
for a month with no prep work on this. All right, we'll get going. I know you guys are here for the the foam. I'll start this baby up and uh, we'll get the foam. Alright guys, so we just finished spraying the entire car and uh it's a lot of yeah, yeah, that's a lot of soap. Not as thick as other videos I see, but that's our that's because of the foam cannon. We got a cheaper foam cannon, which is which is fine. That's good foam for uh the Amazon foam cannon. Oh yeah, this definitely helps for when you've got to clean your car, especially if it's got a lot of heavy debris. And you also have to account for all the different, you know, power washers that people are using and, and all that type of stuff. But even on a cheaper route, this came out very well. A pressure washer is good, it's just the foam cleaning. You guys can see how much there actually is all over the car. The ground. That's pretty good, guys. And it, and it looks like too this foam with it being you know over 90 today i'm starting to get a little bit of sun ducking in the clouds right now even with this heat it, it's not evaporating really quick i mean we went over to carol k twice and it's hot today i mean it really is oh yeah it's and it's, it's not humid one. it's just really the heat index is really high today um and that's pretty good for it you know you want to wash the vehicle in the, in the sun and the car's been sitting outside all day so the temperature on the paint's got to be up there. It really helps with the timing. You it can, feels cool. Yeah. With the yeah, with dust blasting it. You can get you thing. can get a lot more cleaned off of this with just having the foam cannon. It's a lot easier to work out in the sun. Some people have to, you know, you have to work out in the sun. Have to clean it. But uh, this definitely adds a little bit more on? time. Oops, cut you up. Probably a couple couple minutes. <laughs> Almost now. five minutes. That's pretty good. We'll let it drip a few more minutes. We'll uh, come back in a minute, and then we'll see what it looks like. Then we'll when then we'll rinse it down.
So if you guys look at the bottle, there's still actually a lot left. So you're able to get a decent amount of washes with just this single bottle. So it's actually a really good value when you think about you know, how many washes you're actually going to get with this and, and the results. Okay guys, here it goes. We've been on here maybe about 8 minutes or so. We kind of just want to see what it did in the sun um, with the heat and put it on here if you guys, so you guys will know. Um, looks like it does pretty good. It don't leave, didn't seem feel like it left the residue. You can see, I'm going to hand wash it. I got to get some of that bird droppings off it. But you can see a little bit of streaking here for residue like a streak. But look at that. I mean, for the heat, it's still holding up on the, on the trunk, the windows, the roof a little bit. I still got to get some of the bird droppings off right here. But right here, this side's pretty much off. It's streaked a little bit. Of course, it dried down there. We're going to hand wash it. But the... You can see the windows were streaked. Just wanted to kind of give you guys a little feel what it's like to just let it drip and kind of dry. And see what it does. Alright. I'm going to re-soak it down, rinse it, and then I'm going to hand wash it. So far it's pretty good. Also, just so you guys know, we are hand washing it with the same soap, but it's just in the bucket and with the mitt. All done doing a little process on the, on the car in the fusion with the mega foam my thoughts on it work great i mean work really great on the foam cannon that's your our foam cannon was awesome um i'm sure if i get we would have added a little bit more soap to it maybe go three ounces we probably can get the foam thickened up a little bit but i was happy with the, how thick it was um yeah to me that was great foam and um and plus two washing it in a bucket doesn't foam up as, as much in the, your bucket for hand washing so you can use this uh, soap in the bucket if you want or if you want to use one of your favorite soaps when you hand wash it if you're hand washing it like this be perfect if uh, your car is dusty like ours sitting in the garage um, that'd be perfect to probably spray this on here do a couple times and then to be able to dry it off with your drying aid like a um, you know the detail spray or whatever you want or some boom spray <laughs> some boom spray man are you sick and tired of using this old school paste wax on your car and you got fighting you're rubbing and it takes hours right man look no further this is what we i think we need boom spray yeah so like i said you can do that your detail uh spray or you can even you know when you're done you can even put down you know whatever whatever product you guys like to use and if you ever use this, let us know. And if you do use a, a, a foam cannon and some soap, yeah, let us know what foam cannon you're using, what soap you're using. Um, we can all learn from each other down here. There's a lot of you guys out there that know more than we do. And you tried out a lot, maybe a lot more stuff than we have. So yeah, comment below. So we all can uh, learn in, in everybody's tricks and that. I think that'd be cool. Um, that's what I want this channel to be about. Everyone help each other out. And enjoy the videos and just, you know, something like that. So yeah, that's about it on this. That's I think it worked pretty good. Um, I think I would just mainly use this as a, a foam cannon, and then maybe use your favorite fo soap for hand washing. I mean, hand wash fine in the soap. Um, I mean, that's just my opinion. Or you can you know reapply this product, in which we did, and then we hand wash the uh, the vehicle with the foam on there. Um, but yeah, so that's my thoughts on it. If you guys want to take a look at it, um, came out pretty clean it cleaned really well and then of course like i said I, a month ago we applied the mcguire's hcw on there their ceramic wax which is holding up so far pretty good 
in the industrial environment. Look at a nice shine on it. It's still that uh, the metallic's really shining up pretty good still. And I think that's about it for this video. I, you know, uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys have a great one. Later. No, it'd be cool if I set that on you and I'd say later. Shouldn't be talking. That's good.